In this video, I'll walk you through how to query Solana blockchain in general and how to get any dApp data you need. I'm going to tell you about the queries through EAP. So EAP is our early access program. It only has data in real time, means it only has data for last day or today. If you need to query historical data, then you can shift to API v1. API v1 has historical data, but it's less rich data. Team is adding more and more data to EAP, but it will take some time. Let's move forward and get to know how we can get any data. In EVM based chains, you can query smart contract calls, but in Solana, there are instructions which gets executed if DAP is doing something on chain. So we query instructions on Solana with our adjusted filters to get the data we need. Like in general, we firstly check all the methods of the associated program address we want to query. And then when we know the method and one might be the method which gives us our desired data, then we can confirm it from the program's GitHub by checking the code comments exactly what the instruction do. Now I'll show you a live example how to do the before mentioned steps. So for example, if you need latest created tokens, then what you can do is query this address with just Solana token program address and get all the methods in it. You can select Solana, then instructions and then specify the where condition which will act as a filter and in that select instruction and then program address as the Solana token program address and then select the arguments you need info about. So we need all the methods, right? So now select instruction and then program and then method. And then we are also going to get the count of it. So here count is the number of times this particular method has been invoked. Now run the query. You can see the different methods in this program. Mint to approve, revoke, transfer, burn. So what we need for checking the newly created tokens should be initialize mint or initialize mint to. Somewhat you get an intuition, right? So now you can check the GitHub of Solana token program. You can go to this token, then program, and then source, and go to instruction. Here are the instructions. And you can see here this initialization. You can read the comments. You can also see initialization 2. So now we know the methods for creating new tokens are initialization and initialization 2. So now we need to query these program methods to get the newly created tokens info. For that, select Solana, then instructions. Then we will specify these methods and where condition to filter accordingly. We will select where and then instruction and then program. Then program address first, which is Solana token program and then methods. We need to specify methods in an array. We need to grab these two methods and put in our array. And then we need to select the arguments we need info about. So we need the newly created tokens info which are created by these methods. Firstly, select block time to know exactly when these were created. And now instruction and then accounts and the accounts select address and also is writable and also token details to select all the token details. And then we select program account names and address. And then we should also select transaction under transaction signature sign up. But firstly, set the transaction result as true in where condition because Many transactions are failing right now. Now run the query and you can see the response. The first address in the accounts array is the newly created token address. You can change this query keyword to subscription if you want a real time data and you want to use this query as a WebSocket. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and head over to our Telegram channel if you have any questions.